y'all. I'm Rachel, owner and artist at Stella Rose Boutique here in Greenville, Tennessee. Welcome back to my channel. I am participating in Debbie's Boot Camp. I have loaded my first video and she's asked me to go back and edit some of me in there so that my viewers and followers can get to know me a little bit. Um, I am a mother of four beautiful children and I have three grandchildren and I love dogs. I have two German short hair pointers and I do some rescue and fostering for both German short hair pointers and Britney's. Um, I've always been a very creative person. I am adopted. My birth mother is very talented with a paintbrush and my parents had seen that in me when I was little and they allowed that to develop by putting me in different types of art classes growing up. When I had children, I painted murals on their walls and the nursery was the Noah's Ark theme. And I think my favorite bedroom I did for the kids was a rainforest themed room for the boys and it was three dimensional. Um, anyhow, and I started with painting furniture when I had grandkids. Um, we needed to do a nursery for my granddaughter and we needed to do it on a budget. So we upcycled a lot and I painted the furniture for her room and it just kind of taken off from there. Um, it's something I truly love and I love teaching others um, how to do different things and techniques and all the stuff that's out there now to do this with is amazing. So. Um, I had the opportunity to participate with Debbie's boot camp. I am doing the online version because I do have multiple sclerosis and traveling wasn't an option for me right now at this time. So we have a challenge from her. It was to pick a piece, which I did and paint it in four hours. And I picked a piece from downstairs in my room. I have a huge furniture hoard downstairs um, that I've picked up pieces from marketplace and dump and garage sales and people donating stuff to me, all kinds of different ways. Do any of you guys have a whole bunch of projects and furniture and pieces that you've just got sitting somewhere that you have intention to do something with, but you just haven't got there yet? Tell me about it in the comments. Anyhow, so I went downstairs and I picked out a piece and I started painting it. So come with me as you see what I ended up doing on the paints that I painted for Debbie's boot camp. Let's go. I found this cute little storage bench a while back on Marketplace and my daughter went and picked it up for me. It's about 30 inches tall and about 36 inches wide. It's adorable and perfect for all little kinds of knickknacks or candles, some blankets. Anyhow, so I started painting and realized some of the footage didn't record and some of it was blocked with my head. When I figured that out, I hurried up and I dried it with the heat gun. Oh my gosh, you guys, I was so frustrated after I looked at the footage and saw the back of my head. And then I went back and I didn't have any footage at all. Has that ever happened to you guys? Have you messed up on filming? Tell me about it in the comments. I'd love to hear what you did. Well, let's keep watching. And while we're watching, why don't you hit that subscribe and that like button for me? So I turned the bench around and I ombre the backside. You see me here getting a visual for about the width for each one of the colors that I'll have. Even though I'm using three colors, I need five spaces for the colors because I start at the bottom with blue iris. And then as I move up, the next color in the center would be water lily. And so I mix the water lily and the blue iris with equal parts 50-50 for the color between the two. And then I did the same for the top section. The middle color is the water lily and then the very top is prom queen. And I mixed those two at 50-50 for the center color between that. So it helps to blend it better. You see me here using the turquoise iris fine mist water sprayer. This makes painting with this clay based paint a breeze. It smooths it out and helps to blend it so easy. Along with using my Klingon F30 brush, these are amazing brushes and they're virtually self cleaning. All you do is put it in a little bit of water and then in the morning, the paint just falls off of it. I then took out my stencil from JRV. It's the Infinity One designed by Vintage Retail Therapy by Mora. And then I mixed together my water lily and my making powder in Elixir. And I got a thicker um, texture medium to use 
as the stencil and I wanted it to be subtle so that's why I didn't make it a completely opposite color just a shade different from what I already had on the bench you see me here using my JRV stencil brush these come in four different sizes these are amazing stencil brushes you will not find a better stencil brush on the market How I achieved the highs and lows in the color with the stenciling is when I was stenciling, I would also take my stencil brush and dip it into a little bit of the elixir, the making powder, and get a little bit of a darker blue color. And then I would go back to the mixture I made to get some of the lighter color in it. She's ready for her final coat. I used Big Top from DIY and I decided to do something different. I mixed the elixir making powder into some of the Big Top. I did take some of the Big Top and reserve it in another container because you don't want to contaminate it by dipping your brush into the one that you use for everything. And then I also added some of the silver lining to it to give it that little bit of sheen. I used my F30 Klingon brush to apply the big top. Look at how mixing that elixir powder into the big top even deepened that beautiful blue even more. I love this idea. I'm gonna have to do this more often. When we were all done with her, we decided to name her Genevieve. She's beautiful. I just am in love with the blues on this bench. This has truly been an amazing experience. I have learned so much from being part of this boot camp, and I look forward to applying everything I've learned to my YouTube channel and growing my business. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Debbie, for allowing me to be part of this amazing group. All the painting products used in today's video you can find in my store and online at stellarosboutique.co. And if you like things like this video and thrift flips and how-to tutorials, please hit that subscribe button and I'll be the first to welcome you to the Stella Rose family. Thanks for watching. Bye!